Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Derek the Nitwit, and thanks for stopping by. So I've been a little bit busy today. Um, I did cancel my therapy appointment just because the weather, it didn't get above freezing until this afternoon. Although, when the sun came out, it did melt quite a bit of the snow. So I probably could have made it to therapy and been okay. I wouldn't have taken, my, uh, taken a little miss with me. But I just did not want to brave the cold when it was down into like the 20s Fahrenheit. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are going bonkers and I need to remember to go get some Claritin so that I can get better on the allergies. So, <coughs> but I did you see their organized, oops, my whip mystery. All the empty bags I set aside, then there are going to probably go in the closet once I get the shelf organizer so that um, I can keep it neat in there but all they all the project bags on there now have things on things in each one some of them are long-haul projects that I work on just when I get a wild hair <coughs> excuse me some of them are projects where I'm learning to do different things like the last course I did at Joann's where you're learning a coaster but you're carrying colors so instead of tying knots constantly you're just carrying the excuse me, carrying the, the thread that you aren't using. So that is one I'm, you know, I work on every so often. And then I also, I'm working on a Lumnit cowl, you know, basic Lumnit cowl tutorial. And, but I have a, you know, I need to work on it because I actually want to use the cowl. And so, so I've got that. My whip mystery is set back up to where it looks neat again so it's not a big, huge, jumbled mess. And I have been working on the market bag. I'm just really liking this pattern right now, doing the market bag, and I like the home deck yarn. I am so tempted to go break the yarn band just to get more of the home deck yarn, because especially Walmart has it on, you know, not on sale, but they had the best price on some of their solid color ones, and I think, you know, that would be nice. So I would really like to be able to get away from the reusable shopping bags that the stores sell that rip as soon as you get something with a corner in it. And I did spend most of this morning working on my diamond painting. This is the custom picture of my cats. I mean, you can't really see much of what it is right now. Um, but they're, they're, they're in the llama head. And then I believe that is Max and then Little Miss over there. Um, but I worked on that. I do have to battle Little Miss when I am working on the diamond painting. Because she's got this thing about licking the adhesive. And the air freshener gets me every time. <coughs> Excuse me. But she always wants to lick lick the adhesive. Or if they even if the diamond res, the little resin chips are already down, she wants to lick where the chips are. And if even if I block that off, then I have to watch her because she chews the edge chews the edges of the canvas. But you know, she I battled with a little bit, but it wasn't as much as we normally do. And then she ended up just sticking her head under the tray because of a little lap tray I use it with it. Just stick her head on my lap underneath the tray and then just fell asleep. And both her and Max have chilled out all afternoon um, sleeping on the couch next to me. So usually Little Miss is in the, um, spends her days in the bathroom window. <coughs> and I don't know if, you know, I think the only reason she was hanging out with me today was just because I had the diamond painting out and she wants to lick the glue at each hit she gets. Because she's a little twerp. Now, I did start working on this pattern. This is, actually, it's for a, it's a TARDIS. You can kind of see it. It doesn't look like much if you don't know what it is yet. But I'm almost done with the police box. Um, it's meant to be a washcloth. Right now, I'm just doing it in acrylic because I want to see what the pattern's like. And I may just keep making them out of the acrylic and then, you know, whip stitch them together and make a scarf or a blanket out of just a whole bunch of TARDISes. And then I also have the one that says, don't blink. So I could just put, you know, put the two of them, two, those two squares, just make a bunch of them and make a blanket that way. And I've got plenty of this yarn. It came from Michael's. It's their net, the Craft Smart Never Enough. So this is um, 601 yards or 12 ounces of yarn. And they, they sell for like five bucks each. Um, I bought it to do a blanket a long time ago and then I ended it because it was a I had to do it strips, and so I was doing panels of it and then stitching them together, and I lost track of how many rows are in it, and 
I don't want to count it, so I'm just going to use the yarn for something else. And I can just turn those two things into a super long scarf if I want. Because you can never have a scarf too long. You can always just wrap it around one more time. So those are just the projects that I've got going on right now. Um, this next week, I'm going to be house-sitting for a friend and also cat-sitting. He has Dot, Bowser, or Rocky, depending on who's talking to him. Um, Zoe and Buddy and his four cats and when I was in Mexico he's the one that watched Max for me so I'll be over and it'll be easier for me to just go over there and just stay over there as opposed to coming back and forth and so it's like a little mini vacation for me and even still you know still staying in the city just going you know 10 minutes down the road but it's fun it's something di different and um I'll have access to a vehicle while I'm house sitting, which means that I can go to my yarn group this Sunday. And they actually, because we had the winter storm that came in Wednesday night, <coughs> they didn't do their yarn group on Wednesday night, so they're going to do it on Friday night. So I might, depending on how I feel tomorrow, I might go to the yarn group tomorrow night. Um, I'm not thinking I will just because it's kind of short notice and it's not like I ha don't have any other plans. I just kind of needed to psych myself into actually going and doing it. And since, you know, actually no, I probably won't go because David and Chuck don't actually leave until Saturday, even though they're picking me up tomorrow. So I could go, I don't know. I'm waffling. This is, this is what happens every time that I try and make plans to get out of the house is I sit there and waffle back and forth until I either decide to go last minute or just say, you know, I waffle too much and just say, screw it and I'll go. So, but, you know, I, I'm just looking forward to just, an, you know, a nice little vacation, a little bit of a change um, from where I am, which where I, my house isn't bad. I like where I am. Um, I annoyed that the floor is warped and we think that the water is seeping in from the outside somehow because when I moved the couch, we found a, like the floor was wet underneath the couch and it wasn't like the cat's going in there and peeing. It was just, it's coming from somewhere. So maintenance is going to come out and check on that either tomorrow or sometime next week. I don't have to be there for them to do it. I'll just have to leave a note saying it's under the fridge or not the fridge, under the couch. So, but anyway, this is just going to be a short one tonight. Um, I'm going to, I've got to, Pull the TV down because it's going to go in the box and, and go with me because, you know, my neighbors watch out for me. I mean, they obviously did when my mail didn't get put on hold. And, you know, they were collecting my mail and took care of it for me. But um, I just don't want to give anyone else, you know, tempt anyone with, you know, leaving the TV here. So, I mean, I do have renter's insurance, but I'm pretty sure my deductible is higher than what the cost of the TV would be. So, if... So when we break in and steal the TV, I wouldn't have the money to replace it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good evening and it's almost the weekend.